Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Side back in another video. And today, the Toronto Raptors are signing Kelly Olynyk to a contract extension. Kelly Olynyk, who Kelly Olynyk, who has just traded, has just been traded to the Toronto Raptors in a deal that's in Ochai Ogabaje and Kelly Olynyk, and um, I believe that was just it was just Olynyk and o o uh, Ochai Ogabaje. Uh, to the Raptors, and in return, the Jazz got a couple of juniors, Otto Porter Jr. and Kyra Lewis Jr., and a first round pick. I don't think it was a, I don't think it was a bad trade for either team. I think now, now that the Raptors have re-signed Olenek, I think they definitely won this trade. Uh, I remember what probably a month ago that trade happened. I said I remember exactly what I said. I said in a video, I said um, I like this deal for the Raptors, but. I wouldn't give them the W on the deal because Olenek is a free agent. And if Olenek were to leave Toronto, that would mean necessarily you just traded uh, away Ochai Ogobaje. Uh, you just traded for Ochai Ogobaje and gave up two contracts, which doesn't really... You, you basically were... You, you know, what I said was that if... Kelly Olynyk were to leave the Raptors, that essentially that essentially means they would have traded a first round pick and two players for Ochai Gabaje, and that's why I didn't think it was a for sure W for the Toronto Raptors. But now that Olynyk is re-signed, this is a great deal for the Raptors. Uh, you know, obviously this is a great extension, but I'm I'm talking about the trade. That was a great trade for the Raptors. Um, I'm not going to say the Jazz necessarily lost the deal. Olynyk was a uh, expiring contract for them. I don't think he was going to return to them. Obviously, we, we saw how he returned to the Raptors, but I don't think it was going to be as easy as it was with the Jazz than it was with the Raptors. Um, and they also got Ochi Akabaje, so and he's a he's a very solid, nice young guard. Uh, Olenek has only played nine games with Toronto, though. Obviously, he just, he just arrived there, though. He's averaging 20 minutes per game with them, and he's averaging 10 points per game. Three assists per game, two steals per game, or near two steals, one point seven, one near one block per game at zero point seven, and four point two rebounds per game. He's an excellent three point shooter, although he is struggling with. Uh, so far, he is struggling pretty bad with Toronto, shooting twenty six point three percent. But before with Utah, he was shooting forty three percent. Two thousand twenty two twenty three season with Utah shot, uh, forty percent. Two thousand twenty one twenty two season with Detroit shot. 44 percent 34 percent uh 2021 season with uh miami houston shot 34 percent career three-point shooter 37 percent so i don't know what's going on with him uh shooting the ball with toronto his, his attempts have also gone up because with utah he's averaging 1.7 and now he's averaging 2.2 with toronto so his attempts have, have definitely gone up but yeah um, I, I love this. I love this addition for Olenek. Uh, I love, sorry, I love this. I love this re-signing for the Raptors, and I love this move for Olenek as well because I think, you know, not knowing what the future is with Jakob Pertl, Olenek definitely could see himself being the starting center next season, or you know, getting good minutes next season if Jakob Pertl ends up getting traded. I think. You know, I think Olenek could find himself getting some good minutes next season, possibly with the Toronto Raptors. Let me know your thoughts on the addition or the signing in the comment section, and peace out.